looked up on Yelp, the first thing that came up was broken mouth. For Leona Snyder, Yelp is a primer for her palate. It's really the pictures. I'm like, oh yeah, it's Hawaiian food. This Hawaiian-Korean fusion joint inside a food court in downtown LA's fashion district is number one on Yelp's latest top 100 places to eat in the country. Well, for more sesames and then uh, furukake. Owner Timothy Lee named it Broken Mouth after a Hawaiian expression. Well, in Hawaii, broke the mouth means uh, food that's so good that you can barely chew. His number one seller, the Spam Musubi. Some believe the salty meat wrapped with rice and seaweed has ties to plantation workers on the islands. It's very affordable, it's easy to make. Spam was also popular among troops deployed in the Pacific during World War II. Leona Snyder heard about connections to the internment of Japanese Americans. I heard about Spam being the one thing that could last, you know, a while and they would drop them to the, to the camps. Why purple rice versus white rice? Um, well, I try to like bend in my family history and my culture. So in Hawaii, typically everybody does white rice. Um, but in Koreans, uh, we grew up eating multigrain rice. Southern California also has three other spots in the top 10 on Yelp's top 100 list with Sun Bliss Cafe in Anaheim, the Nook Cajun Cafe in Norco, and Sababa Falafel Shop in Garden Grove. Broken Mouth has maintained a five-star rating after nearly 1,400 reviews. I try to treat everybody like, like they're my best friend or my family, and that's how we treat everybody in Hawaii. Because it takes more than just ingredients to please a palate. In downtown L.A., Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.